You said you and your dad have a good relationship now. What about you and your mom? What has happened there? Because that was a much, it's a different kind of betrayal. You know, what happened with my dad was kind of just a, a surprise. Mind you, I don't expect him to be somebody he's not. You know, I, I love my dad and I'm proud of him and we are close, but I don't think his and I relationship are probably what dad-daughter relationships are like. We're two adults that we have a lot to offer each other. But, you know, my dad isn't somebody I call for advice. When I'm hurt, my dad isn't somebody I call. And that's okay. So I just do kind of want to accept my dad for where he's at. Mm -hmm. And I make sure I get my mm -hmm. needs met and what my needs are. Mm -hmm. So I'm just not looking for my dad to be that guy, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I accept him where he's at, and it's healthy, mm -hmm. and there's nothing harmful about no. it. But I'm not coming to it from a place of, like, these wounds still hoping that I get that yeah. thing from him. Um, I figure out how to get those needs met, yeah. and the world is full of ways to meet those needs, mm -hmm. and that's the good news. Um, so my mom, you know, the last time I saw her was 2003. Um it was in a lawyer's office. It's a scene that I describe in the book. Mm -hmm. She said, you know, I'm just so glad that I get to go back to just being your mom now. And I knew in that moment when she said that, that I'd never see her again. Or I didn't think I would. And I haven't. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen my mom since that day. She never reached out. Uh, she did write me a letter when I was pregnant that said, you know, I'm always here to forgive you whenever you're ready. This classic gaslighting and manipulation technique is something I've heard from survivors time and again. It offers zero consideration for how the letter will affect the emotional well-being of the recipient, and in this instance, shows us how distorted forgiveness can get. People who betray us often twist reality to make us think we owe them an apology. Sometimes these moments can be used as a tool to confirm what we know to be true, as Jewel did, but it never stops being flabbergasting and often destabilizing. 